It's like this. A dead plaintiff is rarely worth more than a severely maimed or living plaintiff. On the other hand, if it's a slow, agonizing death as opposed to a quick drowning or a car wreck, then their value goes up considerably. A dead adult male in his 20s is generally worth less than one who is middle-aged. A dead adult female, ultimately worth less than a male. Adult single, always worth less than one who's married. Black is worth less than white, poor less than rich. Your dream client, white professional male, 40 years old, the height of his earning potential, struck down in his prime. Your weakest, well, let's just say in the calculus of personal injury law, a dead child is always going to be worth the least. Do you realize the odds of a plaintiff's attorney winning in civil court are two to one against? Think about it. Your odds at surviving Russian roulette are greater than your chances of ever winning a case in court. Twelve times better. So why does anybody do it? They don't. They settle. There were 178,000 cases filed last year. Do you have the slightest idea how many of them ever saw a verdict? One and a half percent. The whole point of lawsuits is to settle, to compel the other side to settle. And you do that by spending way more than you should. Because when you spend more money, they spend more money. And whoever comes to their senses first, loses. Trials are a corruption of the entire process. Only a fool with something to prove gets himself tied up in court. And by something to prove, I'm not talking about the case. I'm talking about themselves.